Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff, and this is third part of our Instag vlog app. And in this video, we'll implement the setup profile page. So we are done with the auth authentication part. We have completed the sign up process, registration, and logout also. So now we'll move on to the setup profile page. Uh, if you like the tutorials, you can subscribe to channel because that encourages me to make more tutorials. And also, I will provide source code in the description box as soon as we complete this tutorial series okay so let's start with the setup profile page click on the package and new select activity and act empty activity we'll name it as setup activity hit on finish till then what we can do uh, so as you can see in authentication one user is registered coding stuff 070 at red .com. So this is our insta ID you can follow if you want to follow you can ask questions to me directly there Okay, so we'll be requiring the image cropper library and circular image library So just search here for circular circular image view Android and hit on the first link and copy this dependency and paste it in your build.gradle app level over here also will require another dependency so, so search for image cropper android studio and hit on this author hub android image cropper and copy this api dependency api and same paste it over here and then click on sync now okay so in activity setup uh, we'll require one image view circular image view so for that first I will copy this image so control C and I will paste it in the drawable folder okay so just write here circular image view circle image view and it height will be 110 dp and width will be 110 dp and we can provide here src that will be profile let's move to the design and we will put this image over here and we will constrain it horizontal in parent also we will require one edit text so plain text constrain it and we will change the uh, id of this edit text to the profile name and we will delete this text and we will add one hint over here so just search for hint and we'll add new string value enter your name and we'll also require one button so we'll constrain it horizontal in parent and the text will be we'll delete this button text and we'll add another string value so this will be save ok so we can copy some stuff from activity sign in ok so edit text We'll copy from here and we'll paste it so we will delete this width and height also this EMS and hint and input type so now everything is fine as you can see 
and again we can just copy that button code from here I'll paste it over here so we'll put this button over here and we'll constrain it rental in parent and the ID will be save button cool so let's move it little bit up and this one also Again, we'll uh, require the toolbar so we can copy from activity main. So just change the ID of toolbar. So this will be set up toolbar. Okay, everything is fine then. So we can just constrain this to the toolbar and this one to the image view and this one to the edit text uh, let's just increase this uh, a little bit so 120 dp and height will be also 120 dp cool so now we'll grab them uh, in the setup activity so private circle image view let's name it as circle image view then we have the edit text so private edit text and the authentication so private firebase auth auth and let's just find all the ids of our widgets and then auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance Okay, so now we need to add on click listener to our circle image view. So just up to here, we'll write circle image view dot set on click listener, new on click listener. So before moving further, uh, one thing we need to do in our manifest, we need to add some permissions. So users permission and this will be read external storage and another we can add that is internet. Okay, and also we need to add the activity from here from author up that is uh, so this is image cropper library we need to add this activity in our manifest file so control C and we'll paste it just over here okay So now we need to check uh, the ver Android version of the user's phone because earlier before the Marshmallow there was no need to take permissions because permissions are granted by default but after the Marshmallow uh, we need to ask the user for permission so we'll first check if the build version so is above the Marshmallow or equals to Marshmallow.sdk int is greater than equal to build dot version codes dot m and here we can check if the permission is granted or not so context compact dot check permission check cell permission and here we have to pass the context so setup activity dot this and then the permission so for permission will write manifest dot permission dot read external storage and we need to check this is not equals to package manager this one dot permission granted so this if condition will check uh, if the permission is granted or not so we have put here not equals to means it will check if the permission is not granted then we can send the permission so for that for asking the permission we can write activity compact dot request permission and again we have to specify the activity here so setup activity dot this and the new string array of the permission so that will be manifest dot 
permission dot read external storage and then we need to pass the request code so one okay so we are passing request form here so we need to override one method on request permission result so you can override this method if you want to uh, if you want to handle what will happen after the request has been granted so but for this app i'm not going to implement that method so this is our if part uh, if the permission is not granted we'll ask the permission and then else we can implement our things here so if the permission is granted then so we'll copy this code and we'll paste it over here so need to import some classes so import class and this one also so alt enter and here we need to specify the context so set up, set up activity dot this and again we can just set aspect ratio here so aspect ratio will be 1 comma 1 for the profile picture so this code is enough for taking the pictures from users gallery so we need to override one method for this activity results so just write here on activity result so here first we'll check the request code so request code is equals to crop image dot crop image activity request code and inside this we'll write crop image dot activity result and we'll write here result so crop image act crop image dot get activity results and we'll pass your data so this will store the data into the results again after this we can check if the result code was equals to result ok means everything is fine then we can create one uri and we'll store that image into uri so private let's write uri and then m image uri and we can store the uri in our m image uri so result sorry result dot get uri and we can set this image uri to our image view so circle image view dot set image uri and we'll pass this image uri okay and we can handle the error by just writing here else if the result code is equals to crop image crop image dot crop image activity result error code we can display one toast so that will be result dot get x get error dot get message so this will show us the error okay so that's it for setup activity again we can add background color to this or uh, it will be dark so color white and in our main activity in menus so we need to implement this we just have to start the activity so start activity new intent and from main activity dot this to setup activity dot class and we will not write finish here so user can get back in the main activity if our app is working or not so hit on the run button and it's installed splash screen and i will hit on the menu my profile okay so we need to add a title to our toolbar so we will do that but before i will click on this circle image view and you can see it is asking me the runtime permission so i will hit on the allow and it is taking me to the gallery so if i click on the gallery i'll select this elon musk photo and i will hit on the crop and you can see it's working perfectly fine okay so we need to do now uh, we need to set title to our setup activity so we can just copy this code from here and we'll paste it over here so instead of main toolbar it will be just set up toolbar toolbar set up toolbar sorry and this will be also set up toolbar Okay, so we need to change this also so this will be profile 
so let's just try to run this app again so you can see the profile title so if I click on the circle image view so I will select another image of great edard stock and if I click on the crop so you can see it's working perfectly fine okay so now we'll add on click this nut to our m save button so over here so m save button dot set on click listener new on click listener so we will implement this method in the next part but we'll add the dependencies now so we'll be saving the profile photo in firebase storage and we'll be saving that url and the user our profile name in cloud fasto so first of all we'll add the firebase storage and then we'll add the firestore so accept changes and i will just open the google chrome and in our firebase project uh, click on the cloud firestore open link in the new tab and we'll open here storage then click on get started and if request.auth is not equal to null so that's what we want and click on next and click on done so it will create a default bucket for us till then what we can do we'll enable the cloud fast also start in test mode click on next enable and we'll copy this code from here so if request.auth is not equals to null and we'll paste it in the cloud faster also we'll delete this if and we'll click on the publish so that's it cloud fire store and st storage is completely set up for us so in the next video we'll start to save this data in our firebase storage and cloud fire store so that's it do subscribe and thank you for watching